The 2023 Nobel Prize was awarded to three scientists who glimpsed the fundamental workings of reality for the first time. It's astonishing to realize that everything we perceive as real and solid is shaped by minuscule particles zipping through an immense void, far beyond what the human mind can truly grasp. By using ultrafast light pulses lasting less than a millionth of a second, these researchers revealed a realm of staggering complexity, chaos, and wonder. Yet, despite the apparent disorder, our universe doesn't run on randomness. Even when things seem wrong or out of place, the subatomic world operates with remarkable precision and coordination. But can we truly define our reality through these tiny particles and their predictable patterns? To answer that, we must dive deep into the realm of electrons, neutrons, and protons. Back in the 20th century, German physicist Werner Heisenberg famously argued that it was impossible to fully observe this mysterious domain. Electrons seem to behave in ways that defied logic. In response, Heisenberg established a fundamental limit to what can be predicted, measured, and ordered, an idea that became known as Heisenberg's uncertainty principle, a milestone in the history of physics and natural science. Since then, our understanding has continued to evolve. Modern scientific methods are once again transforming how we perceive the universe. It is in the subatomic realm that everything we know, our planet, the cosmos, even a tree outside our window, takes form. Our bodies consist of these subatomic particles, and every thought or spoken word subtly influences this invisible world. By studying and perhaps one day mastering this realm, or at least beginning to truly understand it, we may unlock the power to shape reality itself. In 2023, three scientists devoted to uncovering the secrets of the subatomic world were honored with the Nobel Prize by the Swedish Academy of Sciences in Stockholm. Physicists Pierre Agustinini, Faron Krauss, and N. Luier have been delving into the mysterious boundaries of unpredictability. To explore this, they employed ultrafast light pulses, lasting just attoseconds. These pulses are so brief that they're almost beyond human comprehension, much like the bizarre behavior of electrons themselves. When these attosecond flashes occur, electrons react in wildly unpredictable ways. To put it simply, an attosecond is an extraordinarily tiny unit of time. Attosecond physics is a cutting-edge branch of science focused on revealing the secrets of the subatomic world. If we're ever going to fully understand reality, we must understand this microscopic realm, because it's the foundation of everything. Every object, form, and phenomenon, including us, emerges from this invisible world. If we can uncover how matter behaves at this level, its blueprint, we may also find insights into the forces that shape our universe, including the origins of intelligence and evolution. Just how short is an attosecond? It's one billionth of a billionth of a second. Hard to picture? Think of it this way, the number of attoseconds in a single second is roughly equal to the number of seconds that have passed since the birth of the universe. The dance of electrons takes place on this mind-boggling timescale. With their negative charge, electrons zip through vast spaces, circling a central point. Along with this core and other particles, they form the basic building blocks of matter, atoms. The movement of electrons imparts a charge to atoms, enabling them to bond with other atoms and form molecules. These molecules combine to create elements, which ultimately make up the world around us. Autosecond flashes can make electrons visible, much like a particle accelerator. While particle accelerators generate high-energy collisions to briefly make particles visible, autoseconds only interact with electrons for a fleeting moment. This brief stimulation alters the electron's behavior, revealing information about their intrinsic properties and physical actions. Atoms, electrons, photons, and other particles are so minuscule that scientists can't directly observe them as tangible entities or particles of matter. Even with the most advanced microscopes, they can only observe the effects of these particles and describe them. When these particles move along their natural paths, they remain nearly invisible. When researchers introduce a controlled and intentional stimulus, the deviation from the typical path of particles becomes momentarily visible, revealing the nature of their response. 
From this reaction, scientists can infer the behavior and function of the smallest particles, leading to insights about the structure of the universe and the forces operating within the subatomic world. As you can imagine, this kind of research demands both patience and advanced technology. Ultra-short light pulses in autosecond physics create patterns of influence on the subatomic realm. Through precise measurements enabled by computers, scientists are able to track the movements of electrons within atoms, uncovering a startling new view of reality. Nobel laureates and Lear, Pierre Agostinini, and Faring Krauss, only the most distinguished researchers of our time receive the science equivalent of an Oscar. When the Swedish Academy of Sciences presents its prizes to the world's top researchers each year, it's not just the leaders in their fields who are recognized. More often than not, the award highlights cutting-edge knowledge, new research areas, and groundbreaking discoveries, bringing them to the attention of a broad audience. Before the 2023 Nobel Prize announcement, most people had likely never heard of Anne Lelier, Pierre Agostinini, or Frank Krauss. But once the winners were revealed, these three researchers became overnight sensations. Each has made significant contributions to autosecond physics in unique ways. And Lelier pioneered a technique where infrared laser light is passed through a noble gas, generating an overtone of light radiation in the autosecond range. Pierre Agostinini created a method known as RABBIT, which stands for reconstruction of autosecond beating by interference of two photon transitions. The researcher created a series of extremely short attosecond pulses by directing a powerful infrared laser through a noble gas. This process, known as high harmonic generation, produced high-frequency, ultra-short UV pulses. Each pulse lasted approximately 250 attoseconds and occurred at regular intervals, making the technique suitable for use in test series for electron research and imaging. Agustinini also employed a synchronized laser pulse in his own research for measurements. The interference between two photon transitions allowed him to precisely reconstruct the temporal progression of electron motion with autosecond resolution. His method played a key role in achieving nearly perfect temporal resolution of electron processes in atoms for the first time. Faring Krauss was recognized for his groundbreaking work in generating and measuring individual autosecond light pulses. The Hungarian-Austrian physicist made history by generating isolated flashes of light short enough to capture electron movement in real time. Like his peers, he utilized a strong laser pulse directed through a noble gas, which produced high-frequency harmonics. The resulting spectral superposition then created a single autosecond pulse. By using specially developed measurement techniques, the researcher was able to pinpoint these pulses with such precision that they could capture time resolutions at the scale of electron movements. Thanks to the work of three researchers, it became possible for the first time to directly observe the fastest processes within matter. Today, scientists worldwide are conducting groundbreaking research that is transforming our understanding of the world of elementary particles. Autosecond pulses are shaping our perception of reality. Let's embark on a journey into the depths of matter, where our senses no longer reach, yet reality still unfolds. Through autosecond research, we are unlocking the mysteries of this hidden realm and exploring the fascinating behavior of electrons. The movements of these particles dictate whether an atom will bond, whether light will be absorbed or reflected, whether electricity can flow, or whether a molecule will form. They interact in specific patterns, utilizing or generating forces, creating bridges, forming bonds, or breaking them apart. All of these actions occur on an incredibly brief time scale. These minute movements, happening billions of times per second, transform lifeless matter into living cells and chaos into order. They bring everything that exists into being from nothing, and the ultimate challenge of research is to uncover the origin of these processes and determine if they are controlled by intelligence. The second is the unit of time in which our universe unfolds in real time. Those who grasp this time scale not only comprehend how the world is, but also how it is literally created from nothing. If we acquire knowledge and mastery over this dimension, we can not only observe reality but begin to influence it to some degree. By applying precise light pulses, we could alter electron trajectories, which means that chemical reactions wouldn't have to happen solely by chance, they could be controlled. Early experiments have already demonstrated that molecules can be directed in their behavior if struck at the precise attosecond moment. 
This represents a direct intervention in the very formation of matter. What seems like science fiction today could soon become a reality.